Okay, so black lives matter. Of course, all life matters. Um, certain situation has come about. Um, it's been really personified and exemplified, and I think there's a reason for this. Um, racism is not genetical. Um, it's learned, it's bred, it's inorganic. Um, it's not something that is naturally with us. Um, in the age of information, ignorance is a choice. We live in an age of information. Ignorance is a choice. Um, so racism very much belongs to the ignorant. Uh, what is legally correct and what is morally correct, they, then two things may not necessarily correlate. Um, what is morally and ethically correct may be set by family, friends, um, social structures. However, our laws, they are created more so by authority figures. So they're set by authority figures. Um, so those who cannot learn from the history, they're the ones who are going to have to repeat it. Uh, and looking back at history, especially with our governments, um, greed gives rise and fall to these governments, greed. Um, the history has been replete, um, it's always been this way. Uh, power contaminates everything pretty much. Um, so, with regards to the government, especially from the 1970s onwards, you may be interested in into looking into how much they've spent on warfare in general and psychological studies um, learning about the mechanics of the mind and how it affects human behavior is a massive insight massive insight if you want to know how to control the masses you need to know how to control the mind um, very much done through again law social standards um, social not social standards um, authority figures um, but basically there was an experiment done um, in 1971 um, there's a psychological experiment um, it was done by Zimbardo um, there was a set of civilians he split them in two the one set of civilians were given money status um, a uniform um, badge and most of all a false sense of security it was given a false sense of security um, and they were made to do stuff which ethically may not have been correct but because they were give, being put into this position they thought they was they had qualified immunity that they were above it all so understanding the mechanics of the mind um, you can very much create chaos and inequality but ultimately fundamental change is needed across the board and fundamental change I understand um, general change may not be great for everyone because of traditional and cultural differences but in general um, the fundamental changes they need to go across the board um, so riots protests um, if that's the way we're going to get change so be it however um, I do think it can be done with other means as well um, I don't think we fully exhausted them yet um, so rights and pro let me make clear there's one thing about being proactive and then there's one that being aggressive and animal like that's a whole other ball game now when you behave like an animal you will get treated like an animal and if there's one thing we need to be careful of is we don't get pushed into a certain avenue um, due to political propaganda um, if we get pushed into these certain into this certain avenue and we do start acting like animals that will give the government the rights to, to 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 intervene and if they do intervene they've got three ways three main ways that they can gain control again that they can bring a law and order as far as they're concerned one's called your army one's called your navy and one's called your air force if they come in and intervene martial law is going to be pretty much guaranteed so we need to tread carefully that we don't end up pushing ourselves into certain avenues and understand who controls the media why has the media blown a particular story up as much as they possibly can 
Black on black crime happens all the time. Shootings happen all the time. Why is it all of a sudden that all this has come about? And with these mass gatherings, well, expect a, a spike in, in, in Corona-19 then, obviously. There's mass gatherings. If, if we gather this close and we've not kept a distance, then surely we need to expect that. So possibly a second spike with this coronavirus scenario, or virus in general. But we need to be careful, like so, that martial law doesn't come in. Um, and we need to no longer deal with the symptoms, but we need to go to the cause of the problem. Who is causing these issues? They're not a majority, they're a minority that are causing these issues. They are the cause of the problem. The symptoms, the symptoms are what we can see around us. We need to go to the cause. In order to find out where the cause is, one simple tip, follow the money trail. Follow who's, got, who's making the most profit out of this. Profit shapes our laws. Profit shapes our world. That needs to change. So we need to be make sure that when we are making these these decisions, or if we're in a if we are in a certain environment and there's a certain energy around us, we need to be careful we don't get too sucked into that energy and influenced so badly by it. We need to keep a bit of our own integrity. While we need intelligence, we need clarity, we need compassion, we need self-control in order to make the optimal decisions. If we ain't in control, you're not making our optimal decision. You're probably going by instinct and reaction. So we need to kind of be in our heart centre. Um, and that was, that's the main message I'll leave you with, is stay, take refuge into your heart centre. Um, I'm very much a, a believer of mind over matter. So as within, so without. Uh, so let's create a bit of calmness and stillness within so at least we can have a bit of clarity and vision as to what needs to be, do need to be done on the outside. Uh, we need to kind of, we need to stop using more effort fighting the old system and we need to use that effort to create new systems and get new ideas out there. Um, and kind of multi-link, multi-task, you know, um, really come together in communities and localise power as such. Um, so divided we fall, unite we stand. Um, we're now in a position where we can eliminate to illuminate. We can eliminate to illuminate. We need to know what we don't want before we know what we do want. So now we need to eliminate to illuminate. We are now in that era, the era of information, the Aquarius age. We're moving from the Piscean into the Aquarius age. Um, Aquarius age being love versus everything that is opposed to it. So be in your heart centers and radiate love, be love. Spread the love, L live love. So Ultimately, that would be my message to everyone. Let's not get sucked too much into a situation or certain political propagandas. Let's be open, let's stay grounded, and let's be centered. And let's be aware, let's be vigilant. There's a lot happening politically as well. So let's be vigilant, but also, ultimately, love and be love. Sadhana.